entertainment bullseye every week with her hard riding. got trouble. The devil himself is in town. Settle down now, Will. What's the trouble? Lofty, this is Texas Sandman and his biggest life. Texas Sandman? As sure as my name is Will Riley. Gee, the Sandman's the fastest gun in the West. Tis been said that he's killed more than 20 people. Well, from what I've heard, they've had it coming. He's carrying two guns, Annie. I can see him, Tag. What about that no guns in town ordinance? Isn't everybody supposed to check their guns here in the sheriff's office? What are you going to do about it? Take his guns away. Oh, that's as easy as taking the stinger out of a bumblebee with your eyes closed. That's a man's job, Annie. I'll get his guns. Oh, wait, Lofty. Wait for what? It's got to be done. I know, but I think it'll be easier for me. You're choosing a big order, Annie. He's not choosing anything. I'll get his guns. Oh, Lofty, look, I know how you feel about it, but it's because I am a woman that I think it would be easier. I don't get your reasoning, Annie. Well, I just figured that even the Texas Sandman wouldn't draw on a woman. Well, it's worth a try, Lofty, and it might avoid bloodshed. Yeah, it might. All right, Annie. But I'll be watching every move he makes. Thanks, Lofty. You want me with you, Annie? I want you to go on off to school and right now. But, Annie, can I watch the action? This is mighty important. Nothing's more important than your schooling. Now, go on, get... <laughs> his reputation, don't you? I've heard it said that talk moves a lot faster than horses. It does. That's right enough. I don't believe I've got your name, miss. Annie Oakley. Seems like you and I are kind of in the same saddle. Talk of you has snuck into every state I've traveled. Oh? No offense, miss, but you're even prettier than talk I've heard. You're not exactly what I'd heard either, but good leather sometimes covers a bad saddle. Well, maybe you're putting too much stock in talk, miss. I was aiming to leave trouble behind me. Well, you can prove that by handing me your gun. It's a local law. Nobody carries guns when they're in town. They, they pick them up when they leave. so far. I've gone as far as I go. I won't be needing these bikes. I'm making my home here. What is it, Annie? What did Clinton say? He said he was going to settle here, make Diablo his home. You believe him? I don't know, Lofty. He seems sincere enough, and he said he never wanted his guns back. I don't know. A man with his reputation doesn't just quit. It's not that easy. Well, if he is telling the truth, it won't take long to find out. In the meantime, we'll keep an eye on him, just to make sure.
You know, Lofty, I never thought I'd be holding the guns belonging to the Texas Sandman. I've heard they're pretty deadly, Annie. Not as long as they're hanging here tonight. not to notice that you were more than 20 minutes late for school, but I must ask you to pay attention. Mm, yes, ma'am. If there's something you must tell the class, get it over with and we'll go on to the lesson. I'm sorry, Miss White. I was just telling the kids why I was late. Well, don't you think I'm entitled to an explanation, too? Oh, yes, Miss White. You see, it was the gunfighter that rode into town. I had to stay and see what was going to happen when Annie tried to take his guns away. Gunfighter? Yeah, the Texas Sandman. Was there any trouble? Oh, no, ma'am. He gave up his guns just as easy as you please. They walked towards the hotel. But, boy, for a minute, I That'll thought... be enough, Tag. I think your parents will forgive me if I dismiss you a little early today. Please close your books and leave quietly. Boy, you should have seen my sister. She walked right up to the Texas Sandman and took his guns away. See, she must have been scared, huh? No, not Annie. Do you think she cannot shoot that gunfighter? Well, I don't know. He's supposed to be awfully fast. How come they call him the Texas Sandman? Because he's from Texas, for one thing. And because of those guns of his. He's put a lot of people to sleep. Permanently. Come on, let's go to town. There might be some shooting out. Why did you come here, Lance? Since we had planned one. That was when you were Len Clinton. Not the Texas Sandman. The Sandman's back in Texas, Marge. Right where he belongs. It's Len Clinton that rode a lot of miles to find you. Pick up the pieces of what we had six years ago. I'd like that, Len. But I told you in Houston I couldn't take being the wife of a gunfighter. I don't feel differently now. I'm through with guns, Marge. Through for good. What I want now is for all the things we plan to come true. I want you, March, family, a decent place in life. I'd like to believe it. I want to believe it. Why don't you try, March? I think he's telling the truth. Annie, Lofty. I'm sorry. We didn't mean to be eavesdropping. But what are you doing out here? I think I know the reason, March. Can't blame you none, Deputy. Keeping the peace is your job. My name's Clint. Lynn Clint. Lofty Craig. You've already met Annie. Sure have. I was just telling Marge I put up my guns. This here's the little girl that's got them. That's right. They're hanging in the office. Then the ordinance is the only reason you gave them up. You said he wouldn't be wanting them back, Marge. Well, maybe there's something else I should tell you. All of you. I wasn't born a gunfighter. I never liked doing what I had to do to stay alive. I wanted to be a peaceful rancher. Nothing big. Just enough for my needs. And one day I tried to stop an argument. For my trouble, a drunken outlaw slapped leather on me. One until later I found out that he was one of the fastest guns in the West. Killing him made me faster. 
Gave me a reputation I never wanted. From then on, it got to be kind of like a, like a chain. One link led to another. Always some fast gun trying to beat the Texas Sandman to the draw, or some punk kid trying to make a name for himself. Got to be kind of like cutting heads off a dragon. I know it don't make much sense, but that's it. There's one thing you forgot, Len. What's that? Every man you killed was an outlaw or a wanted criminal. And it was always in self-defense. We telegraphed for his record, Marge. He reported every shooting to a local authority. You'll have to give me some time, Len. I want to be sure. Sure, Marge. One thing I'm sure of right now, though. What's that? If you pick up a gun once again, it's all over. This time for good. You got my promise, March. Thanks, folks. I appreciate what you told March. I'll be at the hotel in town. I think he deserves a chance, March. There are too many men like Len in this world, lonely and always on the move. Maybe here in Diablo he can find what he's looking for. I hope so, Annie. But I can't help feeling that... What, Marge? What is it? That one day soon trouble's gonna ride into Diablo. Trouble's got a way of working out right, Marge. Glenn Clinton's a good man. I know, but... If trouble comes, can he handle it without the help of the Texas Sandman? Town, eh, Rick? Yeah. But then we ain't been here a long time. May I help you, gentlemen? You got a Len Clinton bunk in here? Yes, but. What room is he in? Well, I'm not at all sure, gentlemen. He liked visitors this early in the morning. What you care about don't interest us none. Here it is, Billy. Room number 104. from Texas, aren't you? We come to pay a debt. Your brother drew on me, Ansi. I had witnesses. Witnesses or not, he's dead. That's the way you're going to be. Well, I'm not wearing guns. If you pull that trigger, it'll be murder. You'll never get out of town. The law here is pretty quick. Maybe you just better strap on them guns of yours. And make it look right. I reckon I can't do that. They're hanging in the sheriff's office. There's an ordinance here in town that says only the law can carry guns. Makes it kind of easy there, doesn't it? Come on, gunfighter. Where's your horse? Delivery stable. Well, let's get it. Those are the men. They're troublemakers. This is the law I told you about. I said they were quick. You're leaving us, man? Oh, just came out for a breath of fresh air, Annie. These boys are friends of mine from the Panhandle. The Yancey brothers, Rick and Billy. Yeah, seems I've heard the name. If you boys are planning on staying in town, you'll have to check your guns with us. Maybe you'd like us to check our right arms, too, lady. That's how you want it. One way or the other, we get the guns. Do we get them peaceable like? Or do I take them for Lay off, kid star. What is it, Len? 
They came to kill Mr. Clinton. If you're riding out, you get your guns back. If not, they'll be in the sheriff's office. We still got business here. We'll be staying. Can't you leave us alone? Easy, honey. Well, what is it they want? Revenge. It's that dragon I told you about. There are two more heads that need cut. But, Len, your guns, you promised you wouldn't use them. Right, Marge, I promised. There's nothing for you to worry about. Now, nah, come on, honey. You'll have a classroom full of kids waiting for you if you don't hurry. All right, Len. I'll ride out and carry your books home this afternoon, teacher. I'll ride along. Just act a chaperone for you two. Well, what do we do now? Just what we come to do. No change. We got no guns, Rick. Makes it kind of tough to get at Clinton. Yeah. What if we get him to start gunning for us? We'd have to defend ourselves, wouldn't we? He promised his lady friend he wasn't going to use guns no more. Promises have been broken, Billy. If Clinton gets tempered up enough, he'll go for his guns, all right. And I think I know how to get him good and tempered up. Good afternoon, teacher. You already let yourself out of school? Well, I'm ready, but I was just waiting for young Tag Oakley to finish his after-school penmanship lesson. Tag, I'm ashamed of you. Oh, I used to do the same thing when I was a kid. Only the name was Gertrude. I remember she had the longest hair, and I used to take Lance. it... Lance. I'm sorry, honey. Why don't you let him go now? I'll bet you my saddle he won't be pulling Elizabeth's hair anymore. You better not. Well, what do you say, Tag? Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, I mean, no, ma'am. I won't do it anymore. Thanks, Sandman. Uh, the name's Lynn, son. It's best you forget that other handle. All right, Lynn. Slide the right side. Hello. Hey, what you doing? What are you doing? Here's the schoolhouse, ain't it? We come to do some teaching. Yeah, figured Clinton needed a lesson on how to be a man. We're just baiting you, Lynn. Don't do anything. Take it easy, honey. Never thought I'd see the day a woman did the arguing for the Texas Sandman, did you, Rick? Sure didn't. Nothing you can do will make me strap those guns back on Yancey. Not even... Not even that. How about this? Lynn, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Lynn, stop it! Get out! Get out of the office! You're gonna put us out, gunfighter? You two are all that's standing between me and a life I've waited a long time for. You got till sundown to get out of Diablo. You gonna try to run us out personal, are you? Or are you gonna get your quick law here to do it for you? I don't need no help. We'll get our guns and be on the edge of town come sundown. All ready to leave. But whether we do or not, it's gonna be up to you. You'll leave. Now get out of here. I haven't picked up my guns, have I? No, but you will. And if you do it this once, you'll do it again and again till you're killed. I couldn't stand that, I told you. I'm not going back on my word, March. I won't let you and I take a little buggy ride. Right? That ought to get us back to town just about sundown. Annie, you've got to do something. You've got to stop it. I can't stop them from checking out their guns. March, they'll just say they're leaving town. But you heard them. They said they'd be waiting for Lynn. Lynn said he wasn't going back on his word. Then he'll be killed. Annie, don't you have any idea? I have one, Marge, and it just might work.
mighty pretty sunset, Billy. Yeah, don't it, though? And I'd be right at our backs. Come to check out our guns. We're leaving town. These yours? Heading back for Texas, are you? Haven't got no ordinance against that, have you? Nope, sure haven't. Shooting's over ride, and ride fast. He's still not wearing guns, Rick. He must be crazy. If they're going to take me, this is the way it'll be. If your aim is good, you'll face a murder charge. If it isn't, I'll jam those guns down the throats of both of said he was going to face him with just his bare hands. I couldn't believe it. I knew he wouldn't go back on his word, Marge. He did it to prove something to you. Well, he did. He certainly did. Well, I sure proved something to myself just now. And that's that I'm used up on my share of luck for a lifetime. I can't figure out how the answers missed me with so many shots. We weren't worried a bit about that, were we, Annie? What do you mean, Ty? Chuck, Annie was way ahead of them. She filled their guns with blanks before they even picked them up. Blanks? Yeah. She made some paper wads to look just like lead bullets. Sure were good, too. I had an idea what you were trying to do, Lennon. Well, I couldn't let our favorite school teacher lose her bridegroom. Thanks, Anne. <laughs> you know, Lynn, I guess I'll never know if Annie can outshoot you. I've been kind of wondering about that. Well, I'll tell you, Tag. Just set your mind at rest. I wouldn't try to outshoot any or outsmart her either. <laughs> Goodbye, Annie. Goodbye, Annie. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. 